from the sunny Kazakhstan <laughs> no, I'm just joking I'm just joking I'm from Hungary but uh, you know you can hear it on my accent when I talk I'm an Eastern European man in England not an Englishman in New York as the song says but hey that's funny that take it easy that's funny you know but in Argo I went out for my usual daily 5k, 5K running and in that half an hour I could enjoy all four seasons <laughs> when I went out it was nice and summer right and then after five minutes it turned to winter and then autumn and then spring and winter and autumn and when I arrived back it was summer again hey lovely England I love you and I love this scotch whiskey this 16 years old Lagavulin is with me here tonight and this Fender Custom Shop Strat is here tonight so actually this is going to be a long and nasty review video as always you know long and nasty but nasty on the good way as I said many times before I'm going to drink this amazing Lagavulin <laughs> maybe it helps my English it helps my guitar playing and I'm going to talk a lot about that beautiful beautiful Fender custom shop Stratocaster and I'm going to play a few Hendrix licks on my own way you know it's it's pointless to try to copy Jimi Hendrix because it's impossible so I just stole the licks as far as much as I could and I add my own uh, per, uh, I did my own personality and I present it for you I present it to you so here you go so Lagavulin and the Fender Custom Shop Strat tonight <laughs> be prepared this is going to be long so the star guest of the show is this Fender Custom Shop 59 Stratocaster actually this is a 59 dealer select limited edition uh, custom shop Stratocaster from 2016 so as you can see it here so it has this limited edition custom shop badge and what dealer dealer select means is guitar guitar who, pro who produced this instrument uh, send a list of their favorite favorite options on a strut and order this guitar so it has very very interesting features so what we have here is a premium selected as all the custom shop instruments so very premium quality woods other other body maple one piece maple neck so this is a one piece beautiful uh, medium C shape neck I think this is the this is probably the best one because it's somewhere in the middle it's not too fat and not too thin very very be very nice size medium C and uh, quite big frets on it so these are medium jumbo so there are one size bigger one size smaller these are medium jumbo frets it has a compound radius so from seven and the uh, it's a seven and the, from seven and a quarter to nine and a half uh, inch radius the usual vintage tuners you, you need these you need these tuners on a fender strut 
for a vintage sound. If you want a proper vintage sounding instrument, you need proper vintage sounding tuners. That's for sure uh, a nice bone nut. It has the usual uh, vintage tram, which works really well, and you can do so many nice, sexy things with it. I really like it. So in the middle of the video, I'm going to do my Jeff Beck test. <laughs> when I have a guitar with tremolo, I usually play one of my favorite Jeff Beck tunes. A lot of nice, sexy tremolo playing, and I check the tuning before the song and after the song and see how how much it keeps tuning. Well, this is a vintage tram with vintage tuners, but this guitar seems to be very stable because I tried it many times. I, I, I have this guitar here for a while now and I love it and I played the tune for it and I just want to show it to you because it's a very high quality guitar. It keeps tuning really, really well and we we'll see how does it perform on Rolly's Jeff back test. <laughs> so medium C neck, medium jumbo frets, uh, vintage tuners, alder body. Quite nice weight. It's not a, the lightest one because the lightest uh, struts are usually the swamp ash one, swamp ash bodied one, but this is not heavy at all. Very, very nice guitar. And the uh, custom shop hand one 60 fat 60s pickups which are great and because because on the custom shop fat 60s those are hotter bigger bigger output and uh, it means that the bridge pickup doesn't have that ultra tiny ice picky uh, sound the bridge pickup is very usable even without turning the uh, the tone down usually on the 50s pickups on the the output is very low and makes the bridge pickup very ice picky so you have to turn down the tone or something to make it usable for for lead but not on this guitar this is all the way everything is on on 10 and it's very nice and fat and singing quality i like it I like it that's what that's what you get with the custom shop fat 60s it has the, it has fat in the name so yes very fat sounding i like it like it yeah so let's play let's play not just talk <laughs> <laughs>
And let's see the tuning now. Tune. 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 Woohoo! All in tune. All in tune. Nice. So we kept the tuning after this lot of play, a uh, lot of tremolo playing, what I really like. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bit of Jeff Beck. Lot of tremolo playing. So whoever put this guitar together did a great job <laughs> so the tremolo even it's a nice vintage tram you can play beautiful jeff back lines on and it will hold the tuning i like it so guys this is a wonderful instrument a custom shop limited edition 59 strut i tell you what i tell you what I always talk about my past, but you know, it just haunts me. It's, it's always with me. And Lil Rolly was about 10 years old when first time realized I need a Stratocaster. So Lil Rolly went into a guitar shop in that small town behind the Iron Curtain in Hungary. And I got an outdated Fender catalog. <laughs> So from year 10 till about 22, the only Fender instrument or the only Fender gear I could afford was a Fender catalog, like a very outdated Fender catalog. So little Rolly behind the iron curtain around the secondary school time, my two favorite things at home were the outdated Fender catalog that someone smuggled into the country because that was highly, highly bond Fender. It's an American com com it's an American company behind the fucking iron curtain. Maybe my parents would have been arrested for that if police figured out I their son got a bloody Fender catalog made in USA. Oh my God! So that was my f one of my favorite thing. The second one. So Another thing that someone smuggled into the country, an outdated Playboy. <laughs> a Playboy magazine. It was about, it was very fucking outdated, but it, it, it had beautiful girls in it, you know? Someone smuggled it into the country and I had both of them below, below my bed. I think it was hidden really, both of them were very well hidden. <laughs> So I went home from school and I enjoyed those two things. No, I hope you can, you can imagine how. <laughs> anyway, the Fender catalog had one of these beautiful white Stratocasters in it. Fucking hell. And I just, I was just looking at it and I thought one day, one day, Rolly made his luck. One day Rolly made his luck and buy one. And now, since then, Every fucking day is a celebration for me when I can play these quality instruments. I got a lot of them here in the studio and I'm so proud of them. Rock and roll, let's drink this Lagavulin. <laughs> so how do you like this guitar so far? I think it holds the tuning very well. It, it plays Hendrix, it plays everything. Let's play something else again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful, beautiful, clean sounds, beautiful. This was the bridge and the middle pickup. It sounds wonderful, guys. It sounds, it sounds as you can expect from a custom shop strut. <laughs> This was the bridge and the middle pickup. It just sounds, it just just delivers that strut sound that nothing else on this planet can deliver. so this is the end of the video guys i'm so sorry let me know in the comment section how you like this i i absolutely dig this guitar this is this is just fucking fantastic i like the color i like the drum i like the custom shop 60s pickups neck is beautiful and fast and comfortable i like the medium uh medium jumbo frets i i won't need big i wouldn't need bigger than these actually not a bad thing not a bad thing about it. i'm so sorry you know i like to be a bit picky or something like that find nuances what i don't like in this guitar but nothing absolutely nothing this is a wonderful instrument hope you enjoyed this video rock music blues music hendrix forever bye bye <laughs>